the way I see it is they, they find a donor that wants to donate stem cells. They give that person growth hormones that bring the stem cells out of the bone marrow into the blood and kind of gets them out to play. And once they're out playing in the blood, they actually use a, a machine that's kind of like a centrifuge. I think they spin the blood itself around. It just separates in this little dish and all the cells that my brother needs go on one side and stuff that he doesn't need goes in the other. You dial in the white blood cell fraction of the blood and you pull those off. And then all the rest of the blood, the red cells, the plasma, the platelets, all the other stuff, you put back in the other arm and they capture the stem cells in that process and they put them in a, a couple of blood type plasma bags and then this one happens to be coming from Germany and after you know TJ, TJ's had his chemo then they actually plug those cells into his Hickman line and really it's just it's pretty simple it's not painful and then those stem cells once they get in TJ's bloodstream they're out looking for problems and since his problems in his bone marrow they actually go into the bone marrow and actually start to do their thing reproduce um, and start reproducing the, the uh, platelets and white cells and, and uh, red cells so it's a pretty amazing process.